Now, we've spoken many times in this programme about scammers, uh, that strange breed of people who spend their time uh, trying to trick people into handing over bank details or personal uh, information. Um, uh, most of them reply on a scrap of uh, information. I do apologise, folks, I've got a bad throat. Um, a telephone number, all that kind of stuff that can be so, 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 so clever. Well, here's one that goes uh, just a little bit uh, further. Uh, it's an email that was received uh, by one of my colleagues that was actually sent from that same email by a scammer who got access to that same email account and, and boasted about the fact that they got access in the first place. So I've been looking at this. Uh, Professor Kevin Curran uh, joins us. Kevin, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Mark. Kevin, this is seriously complicated, but the implications are serious. And I know there's hundreds of these darn things. But, uh, you, I mean, give us uh, a really simple understanding, if possible, Kevin, of this one. Yeah, this is a new take um, in email scam, and it terrifies a lot of people if it lands in their inbox. The emails are slightly different depending on who's been attacked, but they all have a similar feature. And the subject line includes a password that you probably used at some point in the past. The sender says that they've used that password to hack your computer, install malware, and record a video of you through your webcam. And then they'll say that they will reveal your adult website habits and send the video to your contacts unless you send them Bitcoin, usually about, you know, a thousand pounds worth. I think, uh, says the emailer, uh, $758 uh, is a small amount for my silence. Besides, I've spent a lot of time on you. It's kind of threatening, isn't it? It is, yeah. But of course, people have nothing to be afraid of with this one. You know, what they've done is they've gone to data breaches online where our email addresses have been in a data breach where the passwords have also been released from some site like LinkedIn, um, you know, Sony's website. You know, the, the list is endless at the moment. But they've found this um, email address with the corresponding passwords which have been broken down. And they just then simply did, you know, the, you know, an export from any one email address with the passport password and send it to them, you know. So they blanket email to all these people who are in these data breaches that the scammers have got. And of course, if that password was used by that person at one time to log into that particular account. Um, so again, so really they're just chanting. Uh, and again, but the fact is, so many people, the minute they see the password reflected back at them. They get really, really scared, and you know, and it's one of this. I have a lot of people approach me over this particular new type of scam. Kevin, uh, just in a word, if you can, it's a terrible line. Apologise uh, for that, folks. Uh, just best way to protect ourselves here: um, use long and strong passwords. Um, aside, obviously, if you get an email with your password reflected in the email, make sure to that you're not using that password anywhere if you change it. And of course, you know, you could use things like a password manager if you were technical or also, again, with any of these sites, turn on the two-factor authentication, which is offered to you by linking your phone number to your Facebook or to your other accounts, because that will also pre uh, prevent someone if they do get into your account. OK, we appreciate it, Kevin. Thank you for that, Professor uh, Kevin Curran. Uh, the language they're using, folks, don't be mad at me. Everybody has to uh, have their own work. Uh, and perhaps the most disturbing, but P.S. I guarantee I will not disturb you again after payment as you're not my single victim. <coughs> Pardon me, folks. This is the hacker code of honour. So you are. Just be very wary of that, uh, folks. Uh, and, you know, changing passcodes and all the rest can be helpful. Right. Um, a wee note from a listener, James, just off the phone. Thanks, James. There's a dreadful traffic jam, he tells us, between Balamagori and Straban. I know there are roadworks, but this is absolutely shocking. It's taken me half an hour to get from Balamagori to uh, Straban. So note that one. Uh, Balamagori and Straban. So it's, the, it's Dublin bound, isn't that right? It's OK coming the other way, I assume, maybe not. If you're on the uh, road, folks, try and tag in uh, to the team there. 0300 123 100 uh, 1. Now, still to come on this programme. Hey.